360 assignment can be intimidating, so this video will help you understand Administrator Assign 360s. To start, I click on Assign and then the Assignment tab. All assignment is controlled through this tab, be it Workflows, 360s, or Assessments. I'm going to click on the 360s, and any products that I've ordered that are 360s, be it self-authored or out-of-box, will show up in this list with the quantity available. I have 11 available. So if I click on the plus sign, it'll start me through the process. I've chosen administrator assigned raters versus subject assigned raters. The difference is the subject creates their, his or her own raters, uh, so picks um, from a pool of people that he or she would like to rate. An administrator is more of an oversight type rating system where an administrator chooses for that subject. A little more, uh, like I said, oversight on this side, a little more effort uh, management, whereas subject assigned all of that is put in the hands of the subject. Once I've selected that, I have different ways that I can add participants. I can create a participant from scratch by clicking on this button. I can search for existing people in the system. Many times 360s have overlap from one person participating in four or five 360s. I can also upload from a file. So if I have an existing file from another system, some type of uh, organizational mapping that I've used, I can use that file. You must have the following raters, and these are different for, I'm sorry, roles, and these are different per 360. And you can also pull down a default template uh, to put your rater names in. I'm going to choose the default, uh, select a file. I have a 360 file that I've built, used a couple times. Uh, so when it asks me, do I want to include existing participants, I'm going to say yes, which really means have these people been uploaded before, but I can upload them into a new process if I want to. So I'll click continue, it'll show me you have 24 people that are participating in your file. Here's a preview of the first few. And when I click up, upload, it'll tell me, here are some errors that I generated, here's the progress, and uh, it's very informative about what those are. I have 24 successes, no failures. I decided not to put a group in. I'm gonna return to assignment. And it's going to tell me right here I have 24 participants uploaded. I'm going to click Continue. These are some demographics that we ask for at assignment. They're really just used for research purposes. So I'm going to mess with our research and put in some random values. And I'm going to save this person as a manager and click Continue. You now have some standard assignment options that you have outside of the 360 system. Do you want to send an invitation to all participants? Yes, I do. Uh, here's what the subject email looks like. Here's what the rater email looks like. You can create your own. You can view what you're seeing. Share score reports with the participants. Uh, don't want to do that. Group options, I can create groups. I'll just go with what I have. And the assignment at this point is near complete. We detected three different rater, or I'm sorry, three different subjects in my file and 24 raters. So it's going to tell me when those have been assigned. So Manuel Eaton, Sally Robinson, and Nicole Blackwood are my subjects, and it'll tell me when those are done. I can search inside of this for failures, successes, etc. However, when I click Done, uh, those assignments are complete. So that was the process for subject assigned raters. I'm just going to launch my email really quickly uh, so that you can see uh, what that what that invitation might look like. So I've got one to uh, Jack Briscoe here. You've been asked to rate Nicole Blackwood using the 360 example. I'm your test administrator. You click this button to start the assessment or you can click this link. For additional questions, contact me. So a very simple message. Uh, if we did have a subject, and I'll quickly look for a subject, their email is going to be just a little different. Uh, it's been requested by me that the 360 example be completed with you as the subject. So very similar, it gives an expiration date, uh, start assessment, etc. So that's the process for setting up subject assigned 360 for assigning them, uh, getting that information out to those participants.